Hey there assassins, this is Wheel and welcome to the third and final part of how to build the Creel House from Stranger Things Season 4 in of course Minecraft. Today we'll be working on the rooftops and getting the uh, porch of roof here, the main roof done here and then this kind of side building here completed as well. And then also some small details just on the porch uh, to finalise it but then we are all done and it's going to be, yeah it's going to be great to finally finish this one. So let's get some materials and just begin. Oh, for those that missed the previous two episodes, don't worry, you can find them with links in the description. Alright, let's start. So to begin with this porch roof just here, we will take ourselves the cobbled deep slate slab, cobbled deep slate stairs, and some cobbled deep slate as well. Well firstly, we'll come to the inside actually, so where we have the stairs and everything upside down in here. We'll go ahead and start by building on top of the upside down stairs, uh, nope, we'll go into this side just here, so like we're using the sort of silhouette that we've made below and we're going to build this in just here. Now we're not going to worry about that one just at the moment, we'll just continue this along oops, to where we sort of chop the wall in half, so over here. So it's a bit awkward because we have a lot of materials to sort of watch out for, but as you get to this quartz you can stop the one before it and then build these blocks in just here, like so. We remember, we need to sort of make sure this is still blue on the inside of this archway, so it's a bit difficult, but we want to just make sure that everything is kind of sealinged up from below as well, which is even more difficult. If you want to pick block yourself some blue terracotta now, what we'll do is we'll go to the underside in here, and we'll sort of build in just next to the step here, and just before the step on this side, so just there, to fill that space in. And you can also do the same again, and a block in on both of those sides. So we filled in that little uh, archway there. Now then for the inner side here in the middle, this does get a bit awkward. We'll need to go to the space that we're going to use here, so where this block is here, knock that one through and build one there. We'll then go ahead and build these across so they go just to there in line with the slab. We'll do the same again, just here. And we're basically going to build this up in a moment as well. But for now we can kind of keep it like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert back to this end. Uh, sorry, the far end over here. And I'm going to stick myself some um, slabs and, you know, the sort of roof design on here. Just so that when we place the blocks it'll be a bit easier to understand. So we'll take our stairs first of all. We'll go to the one next to the pillar, and we'll build until we reach the second one from the front here. We'll turn the stairs and we'll go backwards and connect them to this one for that mini arch just there. We'll then take our slabs and go right the way along the front here, and stop just there a block away from the end. We then want to do this a second time, and it's going to leave a space below it where we can see where to place the blocks, which will be really helpful. So that's what we do just there, and then we'll take our blocks, fill these in, so the space up here will just be filled in, leaving a small gap for the windows there, and then we're going to actually put some slabs on top of this in a moment. So we'll do that, we'll fill this in across to there, we'll take our slabs now, and we'll fill in the slabs across the entire top here. So we'll make like a, another layer just here, not quite a stepped layer, but um, a sort of slope, I guess, with the uh, slabs just there. That looks really cool. Now we want to do the same again, going backwards towards the other way. We'll start with slabs just here, going for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to that stair just there. Then we'll take our stairs in here, wrap them around the slabs and connect to both arches. Then we'll do the same again. Don't worry about the little gaps at the moment, we'll come back and fix those in a moment. Do that, and then we'll take our blocks again, fill over this section, across here, over this section too, and then now we're at the top here, you can see where we're going to need to put slabs. We'll stick our slabs below the quartz slabs above, over to connect to that one, around here so they connect to the arch and finish off the roof we've just built just there like so. And then we need to do a similar thing for the rest of it, which isn't that difficult. We'll just take ourselves our stairs here, going around the corner, going to the end block so they match up to the pillar. 
we'll fill in that one just to a layer. We'll knock out these blocks here so we can build in stairs just from the archway to the second block inwards to the house. And then we'll finish up the rest with slabs in here. And then we'll do slabs here for those four blocks just there. Perfect. Now from above that looks perfectly done and finished up. Now there's one last thing we need to do of course, that is to drop below here and just sort of fill in the spaces below. Now we shouldn't need to do too much because we've done quite a lot here already. We filled in all of that, that looks good. Over here we just need to sort of fix up the, the design below. Now it's really easy to do actually. You just want to go ahead and knock out these four blocks here. Oops, my mistake. Let's fix that back up. We'll take ourselves a cobble deep slate in there just to make it the same. We'll build one block in here and then we'll do two blocks up here. So we sort of go into like a, a bit of a design up here just so you know that's where you stop. Over on this side we'll do the same, so we'll knock out these three. We'll go ahead and as we build on that quartz there, we'll do three forward, two and then one. So now you can see sort of what we're doing here. Um, have I done that a bit wrong? Ah, I just did it a little bit too far <laughs> forward like so. So it needs to be about there. I'm going to switch that one back up to a blue so it matches the other side. And yeah, that looks perfect. Now we'll just go ahead and fill in the cobbled above the upside down stairs here and then across to fill in the silhouette of them just in here and that way we can go ahead and add in those final porch details in a little while but no that looks perfect and remember you can fill that entire section if you wanted to but it's just we want to keep the uh, the level the same for the arch here just so that it does look like an arch from whichever way you look at it but that's perfect well done guys one hard job completed Let's move on to the side one and then we'll get onto the main roof itself. So for this side roof over here, it's actually quite simple. We will take ourselves these three materials again, the cold deep slate block, stairs and slab. We'll go ahead and firstly come down to the other end, so the back end of the build. And we're going to use this to our advantage because it kind of overhangs the entire building here. So also we can separate the two, which is nice. We'll start from the bottom firstly. We'll go ahead and on top of this sort of block here, we'll build ourselves a stair and it's going to come out just like so. That way we can place ourselves a slab in front of the entire building here and run it right the way along to just there. Uh, you can do it yeah, in line with the pillar there. If we run across it I'll show you. So we're kind of overhanging the building as you can see just there and then we stop before the main pillar of the main house just there. So let me do this one, stair, stair and then upwards and so on. So um, it does kind of flow really nicely once you have the, the blocks in here. It's just a, a bit tricky when you're first starting. So we'll do blocks on top of the actual things. Then we'll do ourselves stairs once again. Just across here. Place an upstairs stair here and one here. Then we'll place normal stairs in here underneath the slabs. Like so. Then we want to go ahead and place ourselves some... Oh, what I might do actually quickly is swap these ones for slabs just so we can sort of use a slab block from here slab block? a quartz block even going back along the coral deep slate slabs as well as the uh, quartz ones so back there it's almost like a trellis that goes here it's really bizarre in the roof there but it's a kind of cool design too and then we can continue with our usual we'll go for slabs again here on top of our quartz then we'll do ourselves some stairs, so we'll go ahead and place one, um, just, we'll stick a slab just here, then we'll place normal stairs here, oops, my mistake, let's fix this up, ah, come on, sorry guys, it's going a bit wonky, ah, it's a bit awkward when you're building stairs next to slabs, because they like to go upside down to kind of be the bigger the bigger thing there we go and then we'll do ourselves an upside down stair just here and then as we reach the top section we need to go ahead and stick ourselves an upside down stair just on here but then we'll do a slab a quartz slab on top of it like so and then we'll do stairs along that's blocks stairs along here even like this one to then complete the entire thing there we go finally that looks really cool Awesome work guys, that is the second roof done, now onwards to the main one. Okay then assassins, I will warn you, this roof is difficult. 
um, especially at the beginning. As we get to the back, it's not so bad at all, but for the beginning part, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need to, and you can comment any questions you have down below. We'll take some smooth quartz stairs firstly, some smooth quartz slabs, some cobbled deep slate stairs again, the slabs of the cobbled deep slate, and the cobbled deep slate blocks, some smooth quartz block, some light grey stained glass, and some light grey stained glass paints. Okay, firstly, we want to go ahead and take ourselves to this space over here, so to the right of this main arch on the roof. We'll go ahead and build ourselves stairs here, going to that corner just like so. We can then build ourselves a corner sort of, um, come on, corner sort of <laughs> quartz uh, stair just here, but it's super, super awkward to get this in the right position because it needs to kind of go like latching around like that. So you have to do this sort of thing just like this. Super awkward, I know, but once it's in there, it'll look cool once it's done. And then once you've done that one, you can go behind this uh, stair. You can build yourself one block, two, three, and then we'll place a slab on top of it. We'll then go diagonally behind it, so just here, knocking off that block. And this one we're going to place just for two at the moment, we can build that one up afterwards. We'll then stick ourselves one, two, three deep slate slabs in here, and then we'll do ourselves a block in here with a slab on top, and then we'll go diagonally behind it again to build ourselves a block and then we'll do our slab on top of that one too so that's going to go back into an archway once again we'll come back to that in a section section in a in a later section even I guess that makes sense um, but for now we'll go working onto this big window that goes in here one of two windows on the uh, the roof that we haven't done yet of course we've got this third one just here alright so firstly we want to take ourselves our slabs we're going to run them from here along to this side over here and we're going to stop on the blue just here so we can actually knock that one off to stop here we'll stick ourselves a normal stair this way like so and now as you can see that looks a bit wonky but it's actually not bad it's just the perspective is a little bit odd we'll then take ourselves a block of deep slate we'll place it next to the block of quartz with a stair on top we'll then do a quartz stair with a glass pane below it and a block of quartz below that one. You can actually build the quartz block along until you reach the stair over here. And here on the stair you can build two cobble blocks like so. Perfect. We'll then do ourselves a, another stair on this side with a quartz stair here, a pane below it, two quartz blocks on both sides like so. Then we'll stick ourselves stairs on both of these going inwards back to back towards one another with one upside down in the middle. This middle one will have again two glass blocks on it similar to what we did for all the other windows below. Now it's weird that we do glass blocks and not panes for this one but it again is about perspective so when you look at this from the ground you can actually see the full block there whereas these ones are kind of tucked back into the building a bit more. It's all cool so don't worry. We'll do ourselves a block up here and a slab on both of these stairs like so. And then we have our main attic window, looking really menacing and pretty cool. Let's do ourselves two blocks of cobbled here, and also going across to the other side too. So we'll actually do four along there, sorry, five along there, yep. Then we'll do ourselves a stair on both of the end ones, here and here. We'll place our two blocks of quartz here, and I'm actually going to do a slab on both of these, like so. I may as well build my other pillar down here as well for so three blocks like so and then a slab on top so we're above the stair and then of course that will go up into a main point at the top here which is actually quite a big point for the uh, top of the roof now then up here we're going to do ourselves three blocks past this section a block in the center and two stairs either side of it we'll then do ourselves some quartz here behind the stairs and build them up for two on both sides. These ones will have the slab on top I think, just like so. We can build it and then remove it if we need to later. I think it is though. Then we'll do three cobble steps on the top like so. Look at that, that's looking awesome. 
Then what we need to do, it gets really confusing from here. We'll go behind these cobbled, building cobbled, and then we'll go above them, building three quartz. These three quartz will have upside down quartz stairs on top of them, just like so. And this is kind of like the final section of the roof up here. We'll then build three quartz blocks on top of the upside down ones, doing an upside down stair here and here, and then a slab in the center. Again, we're building the sort of trellis we did around the entire perimeter of this roof here. That'll look cool in, in the end, I promise you. Then we'll do ourselves a stair on the three blocks of quartz, and here as well. And then I'll again go back into another one, another one, another one, and so on. So until we have four of them, basically. Let's go ahead and go to the top of this now, and we'll do ourselves a cobble deep slate stair back to back like so, on the one backwards. Then we'll do an upside down one in the center there. The next thing to do is to take nine blocks in total of quartz behind that, like so. Then we'll do ourselves a block in the center, and then we'll place slabs around the block, like that, to build that point I was on about before. Wicked. That looks really, really cool. Great work, guys. This is really coming along nicely. Now we can copy the uh, deep slate stairs around this, just like so. Oops like this and then you can obviously copy the rest of the build as well so you can go for your let's go for the nine blocks again here of quartz let's go for three on this side three here and three here we'll do an upside down stair on the back and one here as well we'll continue our pattern along here by going with an upside down upside down and a slab upside down upside down slab upside down upside down slab and then we'll build downwards afterwards when we get onto that section but for now you can kind of build the point there uh, so you know what you're doing for the next bit. Let's next go to this window over here. So on the right, on the left side of this area, we'll build ourselves just on the block behind the trellis area, in line with the window below it on this right side. We'll build up for two blocks, leaving a two block gap and build two. We'll do four glass blocks like so. We'll then go to the third block up here and build ourselves a step going forward for two. So it's over the trellis area. We'll do upside down steps on both of these ones. Upside down steps for the middle. Sorry guys, that was terrible timing. I um, <laughs> I literally was like about to say about uh, doing this roof section, then an ambulance just turned its like sirens on right outside my house. Whew, hopefully it wasn't too loud for you. But let's go ahead and go for two more blocks in here. Then we'll build our stairs going backwards for another one on both sides. And you can also do the same with the blocks down here, like so. Then we'll do ourselves two more blocks in here, and then three steps and three steps to finish it up into a point, like so. Perfect. Next thing to do is to go over onto this tower, and you come to, uh, you go to this one just here, so where you have the um, the start of the blue. We'll come back to this one. And we'll build ourselves a block with a stair on top. Then we'll do deep slate stairs here, here, and this one's going to be this way around. We'll build blocks behind these, deep slate ones. We'll do a stair facing that one and a stair facing that one. Then we'll build a block in here with one going upwards from the front side. We'll then build ourselves a block here next to the stair, and then one cobbled deep slate stair just there with a quartz one to the left. You then want to stick yourself a cobbled here, with a slab on here and here. Then we'll build ourselves a quartz block here, with a slab on. We'll then build ourselves a cobbled down there, stair that is. We'll do a block of cobble just here, so that covers that hole, and one below that stair. Then we'll build ourselves a quartz stair here, with a quartz block down from it, and a quartz stair just in front of it, so like so. Now we're going to build a quartz stair just here. And that will sort of finish up that strange, really strange design just there. I don't really know what I was thinking with this one. But <laughs> hopefully it's uh, not too tricky for you guys to build. That, yeah. It looks so odd, doesn't it? But it does work out quite well um, eventually. It's just a matter of getting in the right place. Let's next go to next to this stair. Building another stair of deep slate. Then we'll do two more and two more. We'll build ourselves blocks of quartz next to these three lots and we'll do a final fourth one up here as well 
don't worry if you connect it from the inside, that's fine. The inside is going to be a bit messy on the roof anyways because we haven't really, you know, been thinking about that too much yet. We'll then do ourselves cobbled, cobbled, one cobbled here with the quartz next to it. And then two more cobbled at the top here. This one will actually curve around the corner, so you can curve that one now in preparation for the corner. We'll do ourselves two more cobbled up here. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll sort that out afterwards as well. Brilliant. Let's build ourselves two more quartz stairs next to these ones. And then we'll build ourselves a slab next to that curved stair like so. We'll do a cobbled stair in here. And then we'll work around the corner. We'll do ourselves a cobbled stair here with a quartz block below that quartz stair. Cobbled below these ones. Oh, let's do a quartz below that one. We'll then do ourselves a stair just here. Oops, sorry, my bad. Cobbled stair that is. And a cobbled stair that way, going downwards to the back from the slab up there. And then we build up to it just here by doing this sort of design. Like that. As for this one, we just place one normal stair going upwards to the front side. Then we'll do ourselves a uh, quartz block in there with a quartz stair here and here, like so. So we're not quite on the building yet, we're on this piece of trellis. Then we'll go ahead and stick ourselves a cobbled deep slate here, one cobbled stair up there, and one cobbled block up there. Then we'll do ourselves two slabs going inwards to the building. We'll do ourselves a quartz block below that one, so we can build ourselves a quartz stair next to that one just there. Then we'll do ourselves two and one just there. This one is actually going to go next to a chimney, so we'll build this one along this way. And that one actually goes around the entire perimeter of the building, but we won't build that just yet. We don't want to get ourselves too ahead, just in case we make a mistake. Back up to the top here though, what we'll do is we'll go next to these two slabs. We'll build in ourselves stairs that are going to connect to that kind of curved one. So like so. Perfect. Then we'll build ourselves two blocks in here, going back upwards. Then we'll build ourselves a kind of strange pattern of three just here. Then three, then three. So we've got nine in total. We'll do three stairs here. One up this way and one up this way. And then we'll curve the stairs out once more to go into another three on both sides. Then we'll build it back into the previous three. So it's now lining up. And then we'll go out again for another three just here. So you have this really strange looking shape at the top. So it's like an addition sign if we fill that one in. We'll fill these in like so. And then we'll slab up the entire thing at the top there. Just to build it into another kind of pattern at the top. Back on this side though. We're going to fill in this with a block. And this one can be filled in with a quartz block just there. Cool. Around this way you can do yourself four blocks of um, cobbled, a quartz there, three quartz just out from that one, one quartz just here, and you can technically place three on the other side too, but I think we're going to stick to doing this sort of thing on this side as well, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see what's to come in a second. So around this area over here, we'll just do ourselves the three below the stair and there too. We'll do ourselves one block just there instead of doing three, like this. And then we'll take some cobbled deep slate stairs, building in these ones just here into a kind of circle shape. We'll do blocks here, so we know that's just blocks from now on. Same with those three. And then down here, next to the slabs, we'll build ourselves stairs. And then stairs again, next to those stairs. And I'm pretty sure that's just so on and so forth now. But no, that's looking pretty, pretty cool so far. We'll do stairs in here, just for these ones next to the window. Then we'll do stairs in here, like so. Leaving this one block exposed. And then we can connect this one to the window. And then this one to the window as well. Just up the top there. Perfect. Look at that, guys. You're making such good progress. Brilliant. Okay, what we should do next is try and work on some more, maybe over this end, just over this way. 
Now, it may get a bit tricky, but um, we got this. Okay, so as we're kind of working towards that direction, we may as well finish up this middle bit here. So we'll go down to below this part we built before, and we'll place, of course, our three upside down court stairs as we did the front side. We can do the same around here, and then around here as well, like so. So they're all matching now. We can then take ourselves our slab, it's going to go between them on all four sides. We'll then build ourselves three blocks down, but only two of them are going to be visible. On the final one down here, you can stick yourself a, a, sorry, a cobbled deep slate stair, and then one also on that side just over there. We'll then do three blocks between them. We'll do ourselves a block here, stairs on both sides of the block, and then stairs below the upside down quart stairs. Now we know that's going to be the same again all the way around, so we'll do that now, like so. Then we'll build ourselves the exact same design all the way around the entire thing. So this is actually really simple from now on, but it's just uh, kind of getting the whole thing in here, which can be very, very confusing. So around the back here, it's slightly different because we have kind of more of the roof to uh, compensate for. We'll do ourselves three blocks below the cobbled stairs with one block out. Two stairs on these sides, same as that side over there, and it's more than likely going to be the same this side, so we'll do that now too. Then we'll build ourselves the pillar coming downwards for three, but only two are going to be visible, so we'll do our two steps on these ones. We'll do three more blocks in between them, a stair in the dead center, and then slabs on both of those sides like so. And that is now up to the roof level that we're building just here. The next thing to do is to then build yourself another one of these pillars coming outwards. So that's going to be next to the stair here for a block and one here. And then it's going to have a slab on top of it just like so. Now around the other side we're going to build ourselves a stair just here and here. Three blocks below that one. We'll do ourselves a stair going this way for a few. And then we'll do some quartz going this way for three as well for now. And that is going to start an entirely new part that goes behind this section just here. So this is actually really important. But no, that looks all finished up for now. Now then coming back to this section here, where we have these blocks and slabs, we want to have four of these in total. So we'll build another one just here. Make sure to get the block in line with the slab before it. And then we'll do the same over here again. For one more. This one will actually connect up to the main kind of thing that we're building here and we're going to use slabs to connect them all up just like this. Perfect. The next thing to do is to then go ahead and build yourself a um uh, some stairs. <laughs> I was like what is it called? Some stairs even just in here. Then we'll do ourselves a I'm going to switch this to a block actually now. Uh, am I? No, you know what, we'll keep it a stair. We'll do a block down here instead. Stairs along here for these four. Stairs in here for these three. And then what we're going to do down below is we're going to add in ourselves. You can either add a stair in here if you want to, or you can just add in a slab just to kind of finish it up there. Up to you guys how you want to do that. Um, either or looks, you know, it looks fine anyways, so um, feel free. Good stuff. Then we're going to go ahead and build from here now going up to this way, which is going to get a bit tricky, so I'm going to go double check my dimensions and I'll be right back. So now then, over towards here where we have this main arch and whatnot, we're going to go to the left a bit, and we're going to build upwards into the sort of diagonal shape as we did here, to make sure that we have this long row that's coming this way um, on a stopping point, so we don't want it to go any further than it actually needs to. So we'll firstly take our deep slate, our cobble deep slate slabs, and we'll build one, two, three here, and then we'll go right the way along to that corner just there. And you can actually build these back up as well, just to that one there, so it's on the second block backwards. We'll then take ourselves our quartz block and we'll build it on both sides. Bear in mind we're going to be building diagonal, so definitely uh, keep that in mind. We'll build a diagonal here, knocking out a block, and we'll build a slab above it, just like so. We then want to take ourselves our blocks of cobbled deep slate, building some in here, We'll build this one up to a block height, and then we'll add in a slab here and here 
of Cobble Deep Slate. We're then adding ourselves some stairs for those uh, seven just in there. We're then adding ourselves two blocks of quartz, one connected to the stair and one above. Then we're adding our five stairs up here. Then we'll do two more blocks, one connected to the stair and one above. And then we'll do ourselves three stairs at the top here, and that is our maximum height. At the very top up here, we'll do three stairs behind, sorry, three blocks behind the stairs and three blocks above. And then we're going to do ourselves a stair here and here with the backs facing the opposite directions to one another. And in the direct center of that one, you should be able to bring along this thing here right to the other side. I'm now going to knock off my slabs to, to it just like so. And then I'm going to come back down to this side and I'm going to fix this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is change this one back to a slab, just in there. Now we have a little bit of a floating gap. That's not a problem. We're going to knock out these three. We're going to make sure that we have a stair connected to the back of this one. So I'm going to build this block down again. One stair, two stair like so. Then I'm going to stick myself a cobble block next to the stair. And then I'll do one stair here, knocking out these four. Building one here, one here, one here, and one here building my quartz down again and then I'm going to do myself another load of steps just here before reaching that block so we're kind of not getting to that block entirely we want it to be on its own accord but at the back we connect it of course down here just to connect it all up what we did before wouldn't be a problem but I'm trying to keep it to my original one as much as possible that looks pretty cool now there we go and this side that can stay the same that's all good yeah wicked Okay, now we'll work in this gap here, we'll take our stairs, we'll go ahead and start next to this block and slab here, and we'll just build these three in like so on a corner. We'll add our slab there, and uh, I think we're going to use some quartz slabs for these two, just here. Not exactly certain, so we won't put them in just yet, but um, we'll keep them sort of available in case we need them just a bit later on. Uh, I might even be wrong about that. Okay, I'll check that too. So nope, we're all good. We just stick a slab on there like so and that sort of makes it look like it's kind of going upwards uh, when actually it's only going to be sort of going back and slumping backwards a little bit. We don't build on these ones at all apart from the top. So phew, that's good. Let's take stairs in here again. Curve these around so they connect to the block this side. Here as well. To connect to that one then at the very top here we do this one just to here then almost at the top now we we'll do that one to just there we'll curve it around and we'll go to the other side leaving a block gap in between it just to there now we'll place ourselves a stair backwards there and then slabs along for those ones just in there like so that finishes it up really really nicely making it look very very cool great work guys now we'll drop back down with our stairs and whatnot. So we'll go to the very bottom here, stair, and then we'll need to place one against the block. One, two, oops, two, three stairs. One, two, three, four stairs. One, two, three, four, five stairs. And then here for that last layer, just six stairs in there like so. Perfect. Okay, we leave this quartz nice and empty. Then on the very back, again, we need to sort of bring this down slowly, and then we can finish up the entire big part of the roof that is actually the easier part. Oh, and I will just go and double check this section too. But no, that's looking really good. Very well done, guys. This is amazing. One thing I forgot to mention, but if you want to place yourself some slabs on these, you know, feel free to do so. It will look like it matches the other side too. Well, kind of, except for the top one, <laughs> which looks massive, but that is supposed to. So no, that's fine. I'm going to knock those slabs back off. Yeah, that looks cool. So for the remainder of the roof, we'll take our cobbled deep slate stairs, our cobbled deep slate, brick block, brick stairs, some flower pots, and some cobbled deep slate slabs again. I promise this section will be a little bit more easy, so that is all good. I'm very happy to. <laughs> Let's go to here and finish up the steps just to that side there. That is wicked. We'll drop down to this area over here and get this all done too. So all you need to do is literally start on this one, 
stairs in there stairs from that one there and curving around uh, oh no we won't curve just yet we'll place a block next to it instead then we'll do the curve on the one connecting to the window so it goes from here round the corner here and then connect to that block and filling in that space and then we want to leave a bit of a sheer gap next to this area here so I'm going to build these five blocks in just like so and then I'll place myself steps here connecting to that side of the window and then we're going to do ourselves another load of steps just not here <laughs> slabs even around this area so now this is going to be our top layer just here so we're going to use ourselves blocks to go back and connect everything so build blocks back to here and then again underneath that section there and across this way so we can add in our chimney in a moment we'll just build it about to this layer just here we'll do ourselves some blocks in here to the same layer and then for our chimney we want to go to the fourth block back from this quartz one two three four we'll start here we'll go for one two three four or three four or three doesn't really matter too much we'll build six in total we'll go ahead and stick a temporary block so you can place ups or down stairs on these or you can do another layer of six I recommend doing two just so you can see it over the front wall of the roof then we'll do our temporary with our ups or down stairs here ups or down on the other side too and then six flower pots on top for the chimney that is the first chimney done and there's only one other to do in the moment we'll come around to this side now over here and where we stop doing our stairs this is kind of where the other chimney goes just next to this one we'll build in three blocks uh, yeah we'll do three again that's fine just like so then we want to place ups or down stairs on these ones directly here because this is only like a three block long um, chimney whereas that one goes back for two layers then we'll build up for about three blocks like so then we'll do ourselves some normal stairs uh, you know what no let's go upside down again oops upside down like so three more flower pots and that should just be over this area here and there we go looking good now the next thing to do is to take your stairs from here your cobbled deep slate stairs going around this section sticking a block there to cover that one up build behind the chimney which can get awkward so I recommend if you need to chop through the chimney feel free build this one along build this bottom layer so it goes around the entire perimeter of the building remember to stick to the block on the wall go around here and connect to that slab there then we'll do the same again for a second layer and basically what is awesome about this is we only use ourselves steps we don't go with any slabs at all around this uh, very large perimeter so it really helps us out and makes it much simpler for us to understand so up to there as well now over on this final section kind of over here where we uh, finish it up we need to sort of tear it again just to get to here and make it look all tidy and so for that it's pretty simple we start at the top here we build along until you feel like you know you want to go back in again uh, so I'm going to go actually from the other side and kind of build it from here I'll start on this layer with my stairs build this one along and then once I've made sure that this layer is around the corner there and the other corner we can really determine where we're going to have to stop so we'll build this one along now because this is our final sort of tier we'll build this one all the way along to here and then now that is where we know we're going to connect up to the final one on that corner piece there so again very useful everything we do in this tutorial is kind of leading up to another part so we have to make sure we get it bang on just so it connects up here as well fill this one to this one and there and then here too next to the slabs I love filling in roofs because it just is so satisfying it looks really cool once it's done then we'll fill in the blocks here and then the blocks can be filled in from here now we literally just fill in every single 
cobble deep slate block in here for the rest of the roof at the same layer as this one. Let's get it done guys, then we'll grab some cobwebs to add in some steam or smoke from the chimney if you want to do that. Let's go for it. So then guys, once you've finished up that entire roof smoothing over, I guess you could say, we'll just grab some cobwebs and if you want to add in the steam or smoke from the chimney, it is obviously optional. You just go right above the flower pots for three, three again going towards the back and then you just start to sort of wither it back a bit and spam as you go back this way trying to go up as you do because of course heat rises and of course this is all smoke so it's from heat we need to make sure that it goes all the way up to this section over here and when you kind of zoom away it will look like steam or smoke there we go that looks awesome voila you can do it from that one too if you want to but i think just the one kind of looks like there's a fireplace maybe on this side of the house and there we go oh I almost forgot one other detail you could add in and it is of course the porch decoration now it is important to have in these chandeliers because at night time it'll look awesome so let's grab those materials and then we can complete this so all we need are some nether brick fences some black stained glass panes some dark oak fence gates some white candles some flint and steel if you want to light these and some verdant um, frog lights once again for the second floor windows on the inside so firstly let's go to this one over here we'll go ahead and build in the center of this three blue terracotta we'll place one nether brick fence one two um, of our black stained glass an open dark oak fence gate just here black stained glass on both sides just like so and then you want to place candles on here but of course you can't do that without a block so you have to just place a block there temporarily and then replace your glass below it and those candles are going to be in line with the stairs just here and when you light them at night time this will look really cool i was being very careful to light them there because i didn't want to set fire to the house <laughs> not straight away not after building it oh my goodness then we'll go up to here and in the middle of this three block window we'll go to the roof one two and on three we'll place one fence here one black stained glass here one open fence gate here then we'll have to place ourselves a glass pane next to it this one's going to be a bit awkward you need to come to the floor and shift click or crouch click Ooh, if you can get it in line there we go and remember you need to place another candle so guess what that is going to destroy everything there to place them in there like so and then we'll cheat a bit for those glass there like this and then of course light them again voila and you have yourself a chandelier and a little sort of stand uh, candelabra on the uh, porch there and if we break into the roof whoop, we get in here we can place ourselves some frog lights below each of these windows so that at night time the entire mansion will glow and look really spooky and exactly like the Creole family live here so that is what we're going for oops let's do one in there and the, by adding them in the floor here we don't actually make them seen or make them visible from the outside which is awesome so we'll do one below there as well and also one here uh, actually, I actually made that block down so um, yeah that is pretty cool so we can make them really really secretive and hidden so that uh, no one can see them from the inside and that way we can from the outside sorry and that way we can uh, create the illusion of it glowing by itself and there we go thank you so much assassins and stranger things fans for staying by me for this very long mini series on how to build the creole house i know it was super difficult but look at these things look at them glowing there so predominantly and just creepily that looks insane so yeah thank you so much i'm very very grateful for your hard work and commitment to building stuff from stranger things it is so awesome i'm such a fan myself and it's really really nice to be able to kind of present my geekiness in a way that everyone can enjoy which is kind of weird but also really awesome so <laughs> um thank you so much if you're interested in more stranger things tutorials i do actually have this world here behind me way back in there in the distance is actually hopper's um trailer from season one 
So you can go ahead and build that one back there. It's fully furnished and everything. We also have Benny's Burgers just there behind those trees. And then a bunch more tutorials behind me that way as well. So uh, yeah, this is not just like a standalone strain of things tutorial. I do hundreds of them. And I have like so many of them on my channel available to check out. I'll drop a link to the playlist in the description. And yeah, if you're also interested in more Stranger Things tutorials from me, please consider joining the Assassin Hood today for free by subscribing. If you did enjoy this one, please be sure to drop a like and even share it with your friends and family. That would be wicked. I'd really, really appreciate that one. Um, also, if you'd like to follow me on my social medias, all the links are going to be in the description below. And that way you can never miss out on what I am planning, what's going to be coming to the channel in the future, and you kind of get some behind the scenes looks at things too. So, um, yeah, I really hope you can uh, check those out too. But thank you so much for your hard work and commitment to the series, guys. I really hope to see you again soon for some more Stranger Things tutorials and builds. Take care, assassins. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now.